How's it, guys? Back again. I wanted to explain why this Bitcoin drop happened just a couple of minutes ago, probably about an hour, two hours ago. Uh, and I explained it in the Bybit South Africa group. There were a couple of guys that were saying, oh, we're going we're gonna to hit 26K. We're going to go to 22K. And yes, we might still go there within the cycle. But I want to show you what I, what I saw. Because I was in three long trades. I was in a basic attention token trade. I was in a people USDT trade. And I was in an FTM trade. All long trades. I DCA'd the one um, below my entry. And I waited. And I'll show you why exactly I waited. The first reason was when I saw this wick down on the 15 minute, I could see that there was some bullish price action happening here. and you can see that by the we're touching down to that 27,900 area and coming right up and I thought why is it reversing at that point and you always look left on your chart and I could see there was a wick on the hourly almost to the exact dollar maybe a couple of dollars out yeah about 30 dollars difference but when I went and looked at the open interest chart, this is what made me stay in my long trade. I saw a quick drop in the price as we saw in the Bitcoin chart, but we also saw a very quick drop in open interest. When you see a drop in open interest and a drop in price, this means that shorts are closing, excuse me, this means that longs are closing out their positions. Why? Because they scared right at this point they saw price dropping below this support area and they thought oh my goodness bitcoin is going way down all the way down to 19,000. i better close out my long what happens with the long when it re-enters the market or it closes and re-enters the market it enters as a sh short so that's exactly what happened those longs closing out push the price down and all of a sudden longs started opening up right after that you can see here very big um, buy and sell volume yes we had a lot of sell volume because of those longs closing out re-entering as shorts and then all of a sudden we had longs coming into the market and watch what happened here we had a change of open interest and all of a sudden the price was rising that means that new longs were entering the market and that's why i stayed in my trades you can see also long and short liquidations happening. And I ended up making profit, about a 2% account gain on those three long trades because I knew what was happening with the open interest and saw that this is a fake out. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Have a look at my video that I posted yesterday on shorting at support and longing at resistance. Very important to know. And also, I want to talk about something very important here. I want to show you quickly in the Bible South Africa group what I spoke about retesting. If we have a level that is holding a support and we break down past it like we did here, very important to know that we're going to come and retest it. Only when it comes and retests and retests as resistance, then the short is on then trade that range if it, this level retests as support then long it and so on trade the range until it breaks very very important go and have a look at that video that i made about why people get wrecked and make sure you learn something out of this if you were on a in a long trade and you closed it out and you saw it bouncing and you thought oh, i should have stayed in it learn to trade the retest learn to read open interest so thanks for watching i hope you like this idea give me a follow give a thumbs up and i'll see you tomorrow